In this demonstration, you'll learn how to use Shared Topology in Design Modeler. Shared Topology is used when you want to connect two or more bodies together to form a single continuous body while preserving the interfaces between them. It is often better to have the nodes shared between the bodies for a better analysis result. We'll use a simple model of two blocks. You can see the grouping of the bodies in the tree. The two bodies must be grouped together under a part before the shared topology method can be applied. Each cube begins with six faces. Click the shared topology feature and generate to reveal the shared face, which has pink edges. Instead of 12 faces, there are now 11 faces since one is shared. There are four shared edges between the two volumes, so after applying the shared topology, only 20 edges remain. This next model is the floor plan of a house, where we will show the use of baffles in shared topology. The floor plan includes heating vents and a cold air return. Let's assume that we want to create a fluid flow analysis to see how the air distributes throughout the house. Apply the shared topology and generate. You can see how all of the shared edges turn to pink. Notice that one edge is colored in yellow. This one has four surface connections. The third model is a slice of a turbine blade. In this case, we do not want the left side body to share topology with the other bodies in the blade. Set the shared topology method for that specific body to none. This means that the body will not participate in topology sharing with the other bodies in the part. When share topology is applied, you can see that it merged the body hub with the blade, but left the other bodies unshared. The pink edges show where the share topology has been applied. Now we'll look at topology sharing for edge joints. This is the only shared topology method available for line bodies. It is also only applied during transfer from design modeler to downstream tasks. In the plow model, we'll look at sharing topology between the beams and the surfaces in the plow. Turn on the display by connection and go to the view menu and deselect cross section solids. Although the edges show up as laminar edges, if you temporarily hide the bodies, you can see the beams in blue run straight across the model. The shared topology method selected is edge joints. When you open the model in the meshing application, you can see that the wire edges are in blue in the back, and the edges in the middle of the plow are black. You can see that the surface bodies are connected and using the same edges as the beams. In the view menu, if you turn on cross-section solids, you can see the beams. This concludes this demonstration of shared topology in Design Modeler.